try me out once in a while to see that whether uncle will, if I need it, if I need it, will he? So he says, uncle, I need 10 rands, but I need 50 rands. So he tested me out for the future. Then after a couple of days, he returns it and says, thank you very much, uncle. But he was testing me. So Allah doesn't need that. He knows whether, whether Ibrahim alayhi salam will fail or he'll succeed. Then why put him to the test? Now in his case, you see, human sacrifice was prevalent in his environment. People used to sacrifice their own sons and their own daughters. And man can be programmed, as I was telling you just now. You can be programmed into anything. Do you know that? This is man, the most valuable thing you have, the Eskimo says. What is it? Your wife. And when I visit you, damn it all, you want to put her out of the way. Huh? You want to give me tea, cakes. What does it cost? Huh? But the most valuable thing you have? Your wife. Where are you putting her? Out of the way. So he said, look man, the most valuable thing I have is my wife. I'm offering it to you. Program. Brainwashed. He believes sincerely that, that the, the, the greatest hospitality he can show to you is to offer his wife to you. It's programming. <laughs> You can be programmed into anything. Sati, the Indians, you know, where the women were immolating themselves in the funeral pyre of the husbands. Why? He says, everybody works you up. He man, you love your husband? She said, yes, I love my husband. He said, damn it, your husband is gone. What the hell are you doing here? Maybe you got another bloke. He said, no, no, no. He said, prove, prove your, prove your word. She said, the poor thing. She used to go and burn herself on the funeral pyre. Brainwashing. Man can be brainwashed into anything. So the people were brainwashed into sacrificing, human sacrifice, your own son, man. The most valuable thing I have is my child. I'm prepared to sacrifice for a God. Sincere, sincere, sincere. What greater sincerity is that? Can a person show? Your own child, your own son or daughter. No, no, programming, brainwashing. So the people were brainwashed. Human sacrifice was prevalent. So God would say, send a coin, hey, no more. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. So he says, now enact a scene, a drama. So now, Abraham, go through this. Hmm, 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 one dream, again another dream. So no, it can't be, this must be serious. This so is now Allah wants it. said, so what do you say, my son? The son says, my father, if, if Allah wants it this way, I'm prepared to submissive. And at the critical moment, Allah says, no. He needs no flesh, not of a man or an animal. What he needs is your willingness. So there's a lesson to be learned that he wants you, your willingness, I'm prepared to sacrifice. This was a test. He passed the test. So as an object lesson for others, God needs no sacrifice, no blood, not of a lamb or of an innocent man or a guilty man, no blood. So this is for our, for our own spiritual uh, development. Yes. Uh, one day somebody asked me a question other children. Now we are incest on them. And I said that uh, as close as the child born in the morning was married to the child born in the evening. So isn't that called incest? So how do you answer that question? Uh, there was such a thing like that. Incest. But you see, incest, all the religious laws, Judaism, has laws against incest or you covering your father's nakedness, means your stepmother or her nakedness, all shh, very, very strong, taboo. Incest is a very uh, big crime compared to adultery. Adultery in the house of Islam is next to murder, adultery, next to murder, because the adulterer and the ad adulterer's hundreds lashes in public, you know, so it's, it's next to murder. Or some say stoning, it's, it's next to murder in its consequences. Incest is worse. Adultery with somebody else's wife or daughter. Incest with your own mother, or with your sister, or with your daughter, or your daughter-in-law. That's incest. It's worse. So incest is bad. Very bad. But you see, if there's no law, there's no sin. Sin is a breach of the law. The Immorality Act for so many years. So many white people went to jail and somebody committed suicide, right? But Simon van der Stel and all those guys that came early, you know, they prohibited the Bushman woman, the Hottentot and the Bantu woman, then they began these three million coloreds. Huh? <laughs> Can anybody be charged for under the Immorality Act? No. Why not? He says, no law, 
no sin. Sin is a breach of the law. So when the law is there, it's a right, you break the law, shh, from there on, you are committed. So if there was no law, so there's no sin. But you see, some of our learned men, they say, they say that Adam and Eve were the first human beings who reached that stage of receiving divine inspiration, instructions. Prior to that, even the Bible says that they were like innocent kids. They were grown up, mature people, but they were innocent. They didn't know they were naked. They were naked. They were walking around, hearing, you know, the, 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 the private parts, but they didn't know that. So as soon as they ate the fruit that was, they were told not to eat, that was supposed to be the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, as soon as they ate, they realized that they were naked. But they were naked all the time, hearing themselves. Huh? And they didn't know it. <laughs> they didn't know it. So now they became aware because the knowledge came in. So Adam and Eve were the first people that God can command, like your children. You know, they're running around naked, and ah, you enjoy it. You know, they're, they're three years old, and they're running around naked. <laughs> they're swimming naked in the little pool, paddling pool. Your, 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 your son or your daughter, you're happy, man. You're happy. <laughs> you're like, put on something. Mm -hmm. They are happy. Let the children man, enjoy themselves. Right. But after a certain age, mm, put on your swimming costume or your pants or whatever it is. See, the law, according to the, the, the intellectual development of the child. So Adam and Eve were the first people to receive divine inspiration among humankind. But they were other people. They were other people. But they were in animal form. You know, a human being, very good looking and everything, but animal in the behavior. They behave like dogs and pigs. And it was no sin for them. Right? They just behave like animals. What the animals would do, they would do. Nothing wrong. Because they didn't have that concept of right and wrong. Now the Bible speaks about Cain killed Abel. Cain and Abel were two brothers. The only two. That's what the Bible says. The Quran also speaks. Cain killed Abel. Then the Bible says, it goes into details about things. It says Cain went into a city and got a wife for himself. But there was only two brothers. How did he go to a city? And in the city he found a wife. That means the city must be thousands of people living there, or at least hundreds. Where did they come from? So, the Bible speaks about sons of God and the daughters. لا إله